I told you. I told you. <laughs> I told you Friday the 13th. September 13th. I had something special to share. Let's get into it. Boom, here we are. <laughs> so we got a few different concoctions here today because it's Tupac's anniversary. 28 years, 28 years too long. 28 years music has changed, at least in the hip hop culture and rap culture. But hey, today we're gonna feed his spirit and we're gonna make magic happen. So here we go. So what I did is I got some throwback food. I found this this video. So that Tupac like pizza, spaghetti, chicken, fried chicken, wings. We got some fried chicken. This is a, a special local spot here. I'm gonna get to that in a minute. What else did he like? Oh. I like the good old strawberry milkshake. So we just went ahead and did Jack in the Box. It was easy. And the last part was he liked fried okra, but I couldn't get okra. So I replaced it with churro bites. <laughs> Hopefully that works. You know what I'm saying? All right. You got it bread too. You got it bread. So this spot is called Caesar's Chicken. It's on Hesperian. I'll put it in the video right now. So you guys can see, this is a neighborhood classic spot for Hayward. I mean, if you don't know about Caesar's Chicken, you don't know nothing. Potato salad, but no, Caesar's Chicken in Hayward. If you haven't had it, go check it out. It's real good. All right, here we go. I got my crushed pepper here. We're gonna have to put this to the side. I'm running out of room already. Running out of room already. I don't know about to open this pizza. So let's do that. Let's get these forks out of the way. There it is. All right, the revealing. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Are you kidding me? But yeah, so Tupac. My story that I have to share with Tupac. Well, first is let's back all the way up here. Let's look in the back. Ooh, look at that garlic bread fell out. You must want to be eating first. You must want to be eating first, so let's just go ahead and do that. Everything's falling apart, but that's all right. That's all right. And this is cha-ching. Ta-da. He also likes spaghetti. She's a chicken. They specialize in these nice. Mm. See what I mean? Need to say more. Huh. I think someone's going to be happy about that. Are we not? We got the spaghetti. Ooh, that shit is hot. That shit is hot. Mm. Mm -mm. Potato salad. Uh, uh, uh. Crust pepper. Churros. You know what? I'm hungry. So we're going to get this going here. Right? Right? All right. So, Mr. Tupac Sikor, you know, was killed in 1996. I remember it to the T. I remember where I was at. I remember the time. Oh mm, my God. Yeah, I remember the time. It was about four o'clock, I want to say. But I worked at this place in Dublin, back where I used to live. I worked at a place called Box Room. It was my first actual job, aside from DJ. At the time. Mm, I haven't had round table in so long. And it's so good. Yeah. I need some water. But yeah, I worked at Boxwell. Probably 15, 16 years old. Yeah, 96, got 15, 16 years old. And a lot changed in my in my life from 96 to 97. 
Let me scrub this here. Mmm. Uh -uh. But I remember we used to play the radio all the time. In, in box room. These are the stations I listened to back then. I remember. I remember the song that was playing. First, it was on the radio, Notorious B.I.G. Going back to Cali. That was playing. And then it just stopped. I don't remember who the DJ was at the time. At that time. But I remember it came on air. I was like, we have some sad news for the hip hop community. Tupac Sakura has passed away. And I remember right when you said that, they did a brief moment of silence live on air. And then boom. How many brothers feel mm. to the street? Rest in peace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember that shit to the team. Oh, this chicken. Hell yeah. She's just chicken, like I said. Guess you guys try that Caesar's chicken. Hey, we're California. Mmm. Now now. Caesar's chicken. Used to have this all the time as a girl. Mmm. Tastes the same. Inside that potato salad. But no, yeah, like, life goes on, play. And then after that, we got back on air. I'm just sad. You know, sad news again. And then this play. When I was young, me and my mama had beef, 17 mm -hmm. years old, kicked out on the street. I remember that. I remember that to the T. I remember where I was standing in the store. I remember everything. But that's not the part of the story I'm saying that I needed to answer. There's a big kicker to it. And that kicker is. A year after Tupac died, I was about 16, 15, going on 16, 1990. So yeah, 15, going on 16. Mm -mm. And I remember there was a book that came out, the first, the first release of um, something with Tupac's murder, around um, the killing of Tupac by uh, Kathy Scott. And yeah, I remember the person around me at that time. I need some soda. One moment. Oh, man, see? That's what I'm talking about. See, we're gonna get another piece here. We're gonna go ahead and put some of this crushed pepper. Oh, don't drop it. Don't drop it. Nah, but, uh, yeah, so this book by Kathy Scott came out. And I remember everything. I remember the person I worked with at the time. He went and bought the book. Here's a throwback for you. A Tower Records. Remember Tower Records? Remember these bags? Huh. Who remembers that shit? Here's a throwback for you. But yeah. He yeah, had got um, a few more bags. I mean, a few more things. So there's a few things in the bag. 
with that book. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I remember he was going to get our lunch. And he went to pick up the book. He got a few things brought back to the store, but he wasn't able to get the, the lunch yet because of whatever was going on. So he left. I remember looking through the book. Here I am, a you know, 15, 16 year old kid. I remember it so it was autopsy, but yeah, it's kind of bullshit. It looked fake. I do remember that. There was a lot of conspiracy on that. But then I had the death certificate, which is fine, you know, that's how it works. But I had, they didn't blank out. Tupac's mother's address, Finney. I didn't block out the phone number. That's some shit. And back then, privacy was a bigger thing in entertainment. And uh, so I saw it. I saw the phone number. Sat on it for a few days. And my gut kept telling me, like, call it. Let them know that the number's in there and it's being pretty much blasted to everybody in the book. But here I am, a 15, 16 year old kid, learning about myself. I had a lot of crap going on at that time. I actually had problems with my mother too, in, in my own ways. You know, we all go through stuff that we go through and I might share that in future stuff. I'm not sure yet. But, I'm thinking, you know, here's this artist, rap legend, at the time, he was on the top. See, him and Biggie, they had a great market going. But jealousy and power got in the way, unfortunately. And, uh, Well, how come happen? Stupid. It's horrible. But yeah, I've, I finally called the number. I've never told this to anybody except for who I'm with. But I remember I called the number. And uh, I think the first time I called, I hung up because I was at work and a customer came in. And, uh, That's my wife. I was able to call. <sighs> I'm pretty sure it was Tupac's sister that answered the phone. I think she goes by the name of Set now. Set's record. I actually just followed you, Set. It's me. <laughs> um, and I called. I really didn't have anything in mind of what to say. I just know what I was trying to do is let them know that the number and the address was in the book. And obviously, you know, they're very guardful of a Finney because what happened to her son and everything that's going on at that time. I think Biggie had just got shot that year in 97. So yeah, that, that, that was after that book came out. Or before that book came out, excuse me. And yeah, I mean, I remember saying um, my name, you know, saying that you know, I have no affiliation. I was scared shitless. All I was trying to do it was a good thing. And I think I conquered him. I know if any got on the phone, it's like with the sister on the phone or whoever that was on the phone, just asked who I was, told her. And then just say, yeah, you know, just, you know, out of respect, 
You know, I mean, it's common sense. You know, you wouldn't want your stuff put out there when somebody's trying to capitalize money off of you for no reason. And I, I don't know the true story about all that, so I don't know if that's what that was, but those were stories I heard. You know, but yeah, I, I remember she just said, you know, Just said I was a wise young man. And God bless you. God bless me. Now that's hit to my heart for my whole life. And here it is. I'm talking about it now. I don't know if that was set. That I spoke to you, but if it was and it just sounds familiar to you, I'd love to talk about it some more. I think it'd be funny, you know. I'm a lot older now, a lot wiser. <laughs> Not so timid or scared, clearly. <laughs> I've come a long way. Come a long way. In that moment, um, uh, I may be a strong man. Not a man. I am. I've always kind of had a guard up because of what I've been through. You know, my mom was into drugs. I'll tell you that much, you know. And as a young kid, I grew up around all that shit. Different families, different situations, you know, and a lot of things like that. So I felt with Tupac, I had a lot of similarities you know and, and we all do you know like we have similarities in different ways and when it came to personal life that's when my similarity felt fell through and that's why i connected to tupac the way i did not just because of great music and everything it's the message you know there's there's messages in music all kinds of music it doesn't matter if it's hip-hop it could be jazz country r&b rap everything house anything any genre Every piece of music is a message. And it's how it's delivered. It's how it's heard. It's how it's felt. The beat. The lyrics. I'm sorry. When people are killed tragically, murder, car accidents, anything, we are here for a reason. And when people are murdered and taken off this earth, and they have a destiny to fulfill more. Mm. And they're taken too young. Fucks up the universe. That's why so many things have been fucked up. Everybody's lost in their own world. Hey. I guess we all fall victim to that, right? But yeah. You know, I mean, being so young, you know, it's like the young generation, like, you got it, man. You got to take chances, you know? When opportunities are right in front of your face. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. There it is. Oh, what? Don't drop any of it. <laughs> no, when you have the opportunities, you go for it. You know, just go for those opportunities. You know, a lot of people go through a lot of different shit out there every single day. And yeah, everyone beats up on one another. Treats everyone like shit. Each other like shit. Not everyone, but each other. Because they're having a bad day. No reason. What's the point of it? You're just making it harder for yourself. You know? 
So yeah. Hmm. But that's my big secret. It kind of feels weird letting it go. <laughs> but hey, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and pull two cards for Tupac. You know what I mean? Let's see what kind of questions come out this mother ever. Is there one trapped in the box? I'm just going to take the one. There's one trapped in the box. So we're going to take that one. Man, let's shuffle a couple. I can't shuffle up there, unfortunately. Here, pick a card. Let's say you picked this card. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh. I can't wait to get into that strawberry milkshake. You know what I mean? Mm. Ooh, ooh. Let me get some more of this spaghetti. You know what I'm saying? Mm. There it is. Mm. Oh, shit. look at this garlic bread. Oh, let's dunk it in there. Oh, shit, drowned it. There it is. Oh, mm. all right. Mm. Mm -mm. Yeah. I don't see what kind of question we got here. What's the most important thing you look for in a friend? Ha! Shit, loyalty? I would say that for one. But that's not, that's not just friends, though. That's family, that's everything. Loyalty. Respect. And best of all, honesty. Ooh. Huh. Hitting the table. But that's what I think makes a great friend. Makes a great partner. Who makes a great everything. Everyone should try it in this world. That's what we're missing in this world right now. Look at this big bastard. Mm. Damn, I don't even got no hot sauce or nothing. That's all right. That's all right. You don't need it. You don't need it. Mmm. And that scam from Caesar's stick out. Mmm. I don't even care if I make a mess right now. Shit, Tupac pie went the can. When the food's just good, nothing else matters. You know what I mean? Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Uh, wait. What a mess. But that's all right. Yes. Okay. That was a pretty simple question. Yeah. Ooh, I need some more of this. Mm. Potato salad. Let's do it. Mm. No. How much did they charge me for this? Yeah. It's just like four dollars. That's ridiculous. This should be like maybe two ninety nine, maybe. I mean, it was good. A little dry, but it's good. Mmm. Let's go ahead and activate another question. Mmm. You know what? I'm going to pass on that question. I'm going to pull another car. Fuck that. We got a lot to go. I'll just pull all three. We'll do all five. We'll do all five. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Give me that fucking chunk right there. See, they give you nice, thick, big chunks. You know what I mean? Mmm. Nice, thick, big chunk. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. -mm -mm. 
Another piece of pizza, please. Round table. I've missed you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's up. What are the three websites I visit on a daily basis? Well, YouTube. MixmasterMiguel.com 106Jams.com Believe it. You better believe it. Buddy. Hmm. Well. Making messes left and right. But when it's this But when it's this good and compacted, it's amazing. Shit, what kind of food are you eating? Put it in the comments. You eating that good guy? You got something special? Were you able to get some pizza for yourself? What about some chicken? Mmm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There it is. What about a little bit of spaghetti? I mean, I have to do a full tour to get everything. Mm. But we made it happen. Oh, this chicken is dangerous. This chicken mm, is dangerous. Mm. There it is. Can't even move. Huh. Well, I guess it's time for another question. If you can have any talent, what would it be? Any talent? Let's see. What kind of talent would I like to have? Awesome. I mean, I'm getting back into it. But I would love to learn how to play the keys, man. Like, fully, like. Some damn freaking this this is a great keyboard player. Ooh. Yeah. So how are you spending your Friday the 13th? You going to Crystal Lake? <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Have we found Jason? Or has Jason found you? You know what I mean? So better watch out. To watch your back because Jason's always watching, <laughs> and it's almost that time of year, you know what I mean? Chuckling, they should have made right now Halloween, it's Friday the 13th. Hmm. What if they did that? Every Friday the 13th, that falls on Friday the 13th. Uh -oh. Every Friday the 13th, it's Halloween. What do you think about that? Let's, uh, let's just go ahead and put that into the, into the works, huh? Every Friday the 13th, that falls in the month, so. It's Halloween. Let's spread that term, please. And I'm not kidding. 
I expect to see Jason everywhere. Mmm. Look at this here. No, oh, this chicken. Don't hurt him. Uh oh, it's starting to hurt me because it's mostly junk. Well, ah, oh. there it is. Oh, don't get that pizza over there. Mmm. 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 Well, next car. Oh, caught it. Caught it. Huh, what's the last thing I binge watched? Shit, what's the last thing I binge watched? What the hell were we watching? Damn, I don't remember. What the fuck is the name of it? And we watched Modern Family. That was a while ago. Damn, I haven't watched much lately. Been too damn busy. Too damn busy. We were watching stores words like crazy. I can always watch that shit. Never get so. Anybody watch stories words? Even though, even though you've seen it before? You feel like you find new objects? Makes no sense. Is it AI fucking with us? Maybe. Oh well. Alright. I'm feeling generous. I'm gonna pull another car. Huh. Kind of a fun day. Let's go ahead and read it now. Shall we? What is the best concert you have ever been to? Huh. Ah, oh, man. Well, the question has finally come. I need soda. The question has finally come. I have to say, one of the best concerts, because I like the production. I like the scenery. I like the staging. I like the sound. The show. The talent behind it. And I would have to say Mr. Justin Timberlake. <laughs> yeah, I think that's crazy. It's Mr. Timberlake's last tour. Or actually, he's on tour right now. This tour is the only tour I haven't been able to make it to. Out of all of them since 2003. A damn tragedy. Seen some of the bits on YouTube. Pretty amazing. I've even wanted to work with him on tour. Be a DJ. Well, maybe that'll happen one day. Maybe it's next tour. We'll find out. Mmm. 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 See, when you have dreams and visions, and you have a destiny, nothing will stop you. Well, I do You hungry? <laughs> It's like I've been taking these probiotics. Mmm. It makes a whole different world for my eating. I could probably finish this whole piece by myself. But I need some for tomorrow too. So you have to draw the line someday. Or sometime I just said I did. Well, I need 
Hmm. What is the one thing you would never change about the world? First of all, I want to change milkshakes. That's the one thing I would never change about the world. See this bad boy? Mm. Yeah. Hope no. Hope no. Just like that. Let's see what happens. Oh, God, yeah. There it is. Mm. I've been checking the box smoke saying it's good but I know there's a lot better but let's see what's up with this hero fried okra but it's good wow but uh, fried okra is kind of like fried zucchini definitely gotta try it definitely one damn I will get it I found the spot that does have it up for like 10 bucks for a nice pile so i will definitely do it in the future buck man hmm. what do you think i got a little special jack in the box coming this weekend too I think we'll see if you guys see it. Do you understand? If I don't post it, I'm sorry. <laughs> mm. Mm. But no, yeah. That's my big secret. I mean, I don't even know if it's a big thing, small thing. I don't know how it's looked at, but it was something I did. And it was done in the form of a respectful thing. Young. And the fact that, the fact that I was told that I was a wise young man. be blessed be told God bless you by two bucks mom it's only it was only a few seconds but to me it's a powerful thing it's what helped me continue my life You know, because <clears throat> I felt like I conquered something. Like, not conquered something. Because I know the book got ripped off the show. And the second revision came out and everything was blocked. So, was it my catching? Or did they catch it somewhere else? I don't know. Yeah, that's kind of a question I've always had. That's why I'm kind of hoping. That Tupac sister was the one that I talked to. But I guess we'll find out. Time will tell. I feel like it was a courageous thing to do. You know. I felt in my mind. It took a lot of balls. To do some shit like that. 
Oh, hell no, I got crumbs on me. You, you guys didn't tell me I had crumbs. <sighs> All right, y'all. There we go. There we have it. Tupac loved pizza, so we had a throwback round table pizza. He loved spaghetti. He loved chicken. So I had a two-for-one special, Caesar's Chicken. You guys should check it out. Anyone in the Hayward area? In the Bay Area? Now, sneeze upon. I'm sneezing like crazy right now. And I know that's a spiritual thing. <laughs> I don't even know what to do. I just destroyed my outro. I don't know what just happened.